Welcome back to Morg TV. Today I'm talking about a couple of different topics. The first is about buying products on Facebook and on eBay. So my general rule of thumb, which I don't really bend for anybody, is if I'm buying something on Facebook or eBay and it's been assembled and undercoated, then I will not pay more than 50% of the Games Workshop RRP. So case in point, received this Heldrake in the post this morning. Um, it's in parts because I mean it's not needs a bit of TLC. It's been undercoated, a few broken bits and bobs, nothing that can't be repaired, uh, and we've paid just under 50%, including postage. That is, um, you really don't need to spend more than 50% of the RRP. Where you can go to websites like Triple Helix Games and buy brand new sealed in boxes at 30% off. So it doesn't make any sense whatsoever to pay full price for Games Workshop products unless it's direct only or Forge World, first of all. Second of all, there's so much stock out there that just be patient and wait for the thing that you need. I mean, Facebook, I mean, I could have bought five Heldrakes last week at any one time, so just wait for the right price, uh, keep your eyes open, and, um, and you'll get the deal that you want. Um, just be wary of the sellers because you don't know who you're dealing with obviously it's not like YouTube where you have a, a, a feedback system but you have to trust that our community are pretty much stand-up guys and at the moment we don't have too many rogues knocking around which is good um, I mean I've only had one incident on Facebook where I bought um, I bought a parcel from a girl in need you know she has problems with her kids and she needed money for her uh, for legal fees so I'm, you know I, like the big softy I am I bought way more stuff off her than I needed to try and help her out and she only sent a half of it. Um, you know, and, and that's a shame, but that, that's one out of maybe 10 or 12 trades I've done on Facebook, so it is what it is. Um, second of all, if the item's got paint on it, and say so this was a painted Heldray that I need to strip off, first of all, I probably would never buy it because I'm just not, I don't have the patience to strip stuff off um, unless it's ultra rare Citadel. Um, metal mini from back in the day that I really want then I will strip it off if it's plastic I won't uh, but if you are the type of guy that wants to strip minis off and whatnot then really don't pay more than 60% off the RRP or 70% off I mean if it's that cheap then you may as well but for the effort that you're looking at the damage to the model is probably already significant I mean you can even see on this I mean this will be covered obviously but you know this has been green I don't know why you would use green stuff on a plastic model but the, the guy that previously owned it has actually got green stuff around here for some reason um, but you know people are not all up to speed on how to assemble models so if they've been painted undercoated chances are they're never going to come back to new so you really just spend wisely and don't waste your money um, so the second part of the video is dedicated to the kind of thing that I will do with this Heldrake once I've got it to suit I call it super augment it and it's another way and it's relevant sorry about that it's relevant to eBay and Facebook as well. So, um, if you look to YouTube, uh, eBay and you find these kind of kits, this is an Airfix kit. It's a Red Arrows kit that I bought for two pounds, probably including postage, knowing me. Um, but within this sprues are some really great little details. Um, and you can use these parts on your rhinos on your I mean there's an engine kind of turbine there um, some nice little panels here if this is really coming into focus or not um, but you know you've, we, we all built these kits as kids so we all understand what type of stuff is on there um, like these sidewinders they'll go on my Heldrake so will this fuel um, whatever they're called um, some nice little bits and bobs on there so for two quid, I've got loads of these kind of uh, sprues. I just keep them in one big box. Um, I don't care if it's a Messerschmitt or a Red Arrow or a F16 or whatever. I just buy it for the cool little parts that are that are on there. And again, rhinos, any vehicles, all of that stuff looks cool with just some of these um, small cheap augmentations. And then the second thing I want to show you, which is a really cool thing to have in your arsenal, doesn't cost a lot of money is one of these, it's a pot of, believe it or not, um, watch parts. Again, you can buy it on eBay already, already um, dissembled, so I haven't spent hours basically um, pulling watches apart. These are tiny, tiny cogs, um, 
you buy them by the weights. So this is, a, I think, is a 60 gram pot. Probably costs like five pounds. But within there are tiny little nuts and bolts, really fine, um, really fine little details here. And given the scale that we work at, 28 mil, this is actually the perfect scale for a lot of stuff that we need. Um, so things like, you know, aerial um, aerials on Imperial Guard. Uh, you probably can't even see this because it's so fine. I mean, that is a, you know, that's about the thickness of a, a radio aerial um, that you'd expect on an Imperial Guard uh, troop in real life. Of course, you don't, you wouldn't have to, uh, this on all your gaming pieces, but if you're doing a display piece, competition piece, um, and you use a lot of brass etch like I do when I'm doing display pieces, then things like these cogs would cost you quite a lot of money if you bought them from a specific um, you know scale parts supplier but if you buy them on eBay in terms of X watch parts then you can make some great kind of effects steampunk and all that kind of stuff so the message of the video is really to um, you don't always have to buy another games workshop kit to do a kit bash or to to augment your models there are lots of little things out there that are available to us uh, very cheaply uh, we can stick on and um, and it works really well so I hope you like the video I hope you found it useful if you did please give me a thumbs up and uh, I'll see you in the next one take care bye Thank you.